is going on guys this is mac for b for yv welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be doing a gaming pc video this is going to be a game of thrones themed build hence the stark banner over there calling this build white walker in honor of game of thrones final season one of my favorite shows if you guys haven't seen it shame on you so let's get started this build cost me about 750 dollars that's all subject to change depending on where you guys get your parts and how much you get them for also want to give a quick disclaimer not all these parts were purchased brand new so if you guys are not really comfortable buying secondhand parts or used parts i'm going to leave an alternative down below in the links if i don't forget hopefully i don't forget <laughs> anyways let's get started with the parts list Boom. This is the Ryzen 5 1600. It's a six core processor, 12 threads, amazing processor, and I got it for $80 at Micro Center. I was browsing through Build a PC Sales subreddit and I came across this deal for an $80 Ryzen 5. Unfortunately, you have to go to a Micro Center physically. You can't buy it online, so yeah, that kind of sucks. But if you have a Micro Center near you, Go get it. So this processor is going to be perfect for someone who wants a game, someone who wants a stream, maybe even edit videos. This is a great solution for the modern day gamer. So yeah, eighty dollars, amazing value. Next up is a motherboard, and we're going to be using the ASUS Strix B350F gaming motherboard. That was a mouthful. This is a great motherboard. This is actually from my previous build, and I love this board. I've been using it for about a year now. Very reliable. It's got RGB. It's got all these great features, and the board looks really good. It's got a nice understated black gray finish, so it's going to be a nice contrast to the rest of the parts. Next up is the RAM. So we got G Skill Rip Jaws 5, 3200, 16 gig kit. And I'm only using this because the one I originally planned to use, I had to end up using in my build because my X370 motherboard was acting like a piece of crap. And this is um, what I was supposed to use for my system. But um, for compatibility issues, I ended up using this for this build. But, but yeah, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using this. And I purchased this used, so I got it for $70. Pretty great deal. Can't catch a break in this bitch. Next is storage. So we're going to be using Inland Professional 480 gig SSD. Now this is Micro Center's own in-house brand of SSDs. Not going to be the fastest out there. Not going to lie. It's not going to beat out any Samsung or Crucial or uh, SanDisk SSD out there. But for the price, 50 bucks for 480 gig SSD. I'd choose an SSD over a hard drive any day. And then obviously you can add your hard drives later on. You guys need more storage for your games all that good stuff but yeah very simple 480 gig ssd for 50 bucks next up is the graphics card and right here i have my gtx 1070 ti from msi this is the titanium edition i believe you can't buy this anymore so i'm going to be leaving a, a link for the rtx 2060 which is a very comparable card to this and we're just going to be using 1070 Ti for the purpose of this video. But the RTX 2060 is an excellent value card. For 350 bucks, you get a great card that can d absolutely demolish um, 1080p games, just like this GTX 1070 Ti. So yeah, and this is a great card. So I think that um, you're going to be able to use this for a while before you need to upgrade. Next up is the case, and we're going with the Fantex Entho Pro. Obviously, we're going with the white version because it's called White Walker. And this is a great case. You got a lot of space. It's a little bit older than other cases out right now in the market. I think it's still a fantastic case. You got great airflow. You got a PSU shroud. You got great cable management with the zip ties and rubber grommets everywhere. Some cases in 2019 don't even have rubber grommets. So, yeah. And the best part about this case, I was able to snag it for 25 bucks just because the acrylic had a crack on it. In fact, I ordered a replacement for it and it still came out cheaper than buying a brand new one. And last but not least, the power supply. We're going to be using Cooler Masters Master Watt 650 Watt 80 plus bronze power supply. It's a semi modular power supply. So even though it's not fully modular, good amount of space in the case for us. Good amount of space in the case? We got a good amount of space in the case for us to 
you know, tidy everything up and hide all those cables. So I don't see the need of getting a fully modular power supply anyways. For this case, in this build, I don't know what I'm saying. This is the sixth time I recorded this video, but it's a great power supply. And in power supplies, I highly recommend EVGA, Seasonic, Corsair, lots of great brands out there. Make sure you get an 80 plus certified power supply and don't skimp on your power supply. That's pretty much it for the parts. I think that this came out to be a really amazing build. I'm going to be showing you guys some benchmarks and some B-roll at the end with my conclusions and my final thoughts of this build. Conclusion time. So I had a great time building the White Walker build. It was so much fun. Um, a couple of things I forgot to mention. I changed the fans. I got these really cheap fans from Amazon. I'm going to link them down below. And it turned out to be pretty awesome. They're pretty quiet. Um, the build turned out really great. Performance was awesome. It's totally exceptional for, especially for the price. Um, and what's really great about this is that there's always headroom for overclocking and upgrading i would probably replace the cpu cooler first and add in some more storage and yeah that's the conclusion of our build if you guys like the video please consider subscribing to the channel i do my best to upload a video weekly if you like the video please hit that thumbs up if you did not like it then hit the thumbs down it's all good if i missed anything in this video please leave a comment down below <coughs> oh also before i go leave a comment down below which house you represent obviously you guys know which house i represent house stark all the way anyways this has been mac for b4yb i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever i'll see you guys in the next one